Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. And today we're going to take a look at an independent film brought to us by Tanya Atomic, and it's called Claudia Key. Now, Claudia Key tells us the story of Claudia Piovani, who is an artist and a photographer, and she, she kind of has these strange, unexplainable visions of someone from the past, almost like a, a, a spirit encounter with them. A anyway, uh, these visions start to become more and more frequent, and we get to see how these affect her life and, and her sanity as she continues to have this unreal connection to some spirit from the past. Claudia Key is directed, written, produced, shot. I mean, this, this Tanya Atomic did just about everything behind the scenes on this film. Okay, and uh, what I liked, what what I liked about it was the story, the concept, the idea of this kind of uh, spirit from the past uh, with these visions haunting this woman and causing her to kind of lose her grip on on her self identity and her her sanity. You know, so I really loved the concept and the story. Okay, and I really enjoyed the editing of this film as well uh, it was it was paced nicely for a, a little over an hour long and uh, you know it just really it had a good feel to it and especially uh, with the uh, production design that they had when they had the vintage flashbacks to this person in the past that kind of has this uh, uh, you know the Claudia keeps having visions of I really liked her look her outfit the feel that it was kind of in the past they really did a good job there of making those visions feel uh, vintage. So uh, those things I really did enjoy about it. Now uh, the story does move along fairly well, but the dialogue is just a little bit awkward or clunky. Uh, usually there's some repetition there involved. And that is because I learned that this entire film, nearly nearly the entire film, was shot improv. Okay, It was completely improv at the moment. And for that I give her props for, and that's what independent film makers, uh, what I love about them is how they like to take chances and they like to experiment and try different things. And in this case she shot it pretty much uh, ad-libbed all the way through. They kind of had an idea what the story was going on. And I I give them props for that, okay? The only thing with the improv dialogue is that it did, uh, like I said, come a little clunky, a little bit awkward in places, you know? So, you know, it was one of those things where if you saw the story, I, I liked the fact they tried improv, but you could tell if they actually had a written down script and dialogue, it, it could have made this uh, movie a little bit tighter uh, than what it was. So there was that. And also I would have liked a few uh, more shots of the vintage spirit vision. I got there was some reuse of shots and I know limited budget and time I understand but just from of the watching standpoint there was a few repetitions in the flashback scenes that I like to just would have liked to see a little bit more variety what I did love though was uh, the performance by the woman who's playing Claudia Piovani uh, Barbara uh, Bergio oh my lord her performance was fantastic in this I mean she really sells uh, a woman losing her mind and some of the artwork. In fact, I believe the artwork that the artist character was uh, displaying in one of the art galleries during one of the scenes, that was actually her artwork and it was amazing. There's a piece in there, a three panel piece, I really enjoyed. And so I love the fact that they used, that she was an artist playing an artist and she actually had some of her pieces out there as well. It helped uh, really give it that authentic feel to it. On the whole, Claudia Key is an uh, interesting film in its concept. I like the story and the execution. Uh, and the performances by everybody involved. I think if it had actually been a scripted film, it could have been a little bit tighter and even better, but it is an interesting concept, and I think it is worth a watch if you get a chance. I, I, she may be putting it out to some festivals, I'm not sure, but Claudia Key is definitely a prime example of independent filmmakers taking chances and not held back by any restraints at all and doing what they want to do and what they love, which is make film. And that'll about do it for us here at the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.